John Carpenter is arguably the most prolific filmmaker of all time. Escape from New York, Halloween, Big Trouble in Little China, They Live, Christine, and my all-time favorite horror movie, The Thing. One of the most brilliant tools he uses in The Thing is the ability for the alien to take the shape of anyone it assimilates. What we're talking about here is an organism that imitates other life forms, and it imitates them perfectly. Distrust and paranoia is what makes The Thing stand out as one of the best horror movies of all time. But the question that pervades the film, who is The Thing, and when do they get infected? I have to learn trust. There are 12 characters in The Thing. Bennings, Blair, Childs, Clark, Copper, Fuchs, Gary, McGreedy, Knowles, Norris, Palmer, and Windows. You sure that's all of them? Clark, Copper, and Fuchs all die before they can be infected. McGreedy makes it to the end, so we can remove them from the board. Cheating bitch. Now it gets a little harder. There are only two points in the film where we know exactly who is The Thing. At the very beginning of the film, only the dog is the thing and none of the humans. Fast forward to the blood test scene and we know that only Palmer and Blair are the thing at that point. I'm alright, I'm much better. And I won't harm anybody. And you gotta let me come back in front. We directly see Bennings, Gary, Windows, and Nalls get attacked by the thing on screen. Windows gets torched and Gary and Nalls both die in the explosion. Between the start of the film and the blood test scene, there are three infections that we don't see on screen. We have to use deductive reasoning to figure out who gets infected and when. First, we have this shot, intended to show that the person belonging to this shadow is about to get infected. Based on the hair, we have three possible victims, Norris, Palmer, or Windows. Now, we know from the blood test scene that it isn't Windows, so between Norris and Palmer, all we have to go on is the shape of the collar. Palmer's wearing this denim vest with a low collar and ragged shoulders that would definitely make a different silhouette. Norris's collar matches perfectly. It may sound like a stretch, but Carpenter was so specific with this movie that it is definitely Norris who gets infected first. I'm sorry, fellas, but I, I, I'm not up to it. At this point, we have an infected dog and an infected Norris. The next sign of an infection comes when Nalls brings in some dirty drawers in the kitchen trash can. Later on, we discover that the thing can't mimic clothing, and that destroyed clothing means another attack. There are several members of the crew that have been visibly shown to be wearing long johns. Blair, Copper, McGreedy, Nalls, and Palmer. Copper and McGreedy never get assimilated. Nalls gets attacked much later, and Blair continues to work against the thing for several more scenes, so that means Palmer has now been assimilated. Sorry, bud. Bennings gets attacked by the Thing corpse that was not completely dead yet, and is summarily executed. So we know for a fact that Blair is assimilated at the time of the blood test, because they find him missing in a homemade spacecraft beneath his shack. Smart SOB, put it together piece by piece. So between the scene where Blair destroys the radio and the blood test scene, Palmer or Norris assimilates him. Two or three days pass between these scenes, so it could easily have happened without anyone noticing. It probably happened close to the time where Fuchs burned himself alive to keep from becoming the thing. He burned himself before it could get to him. Norris Thing kills Copper. Ah! McCready kills Norris Thing. Ah! McCready kills Clark. Palmer Thing infects Windows. Ah! McCready kills Palmer Thing. Ah! McCready kills Windows Thing. There's one final human we haven't discussed, Childs. Childs and McCready meet at the end of the film after McCready has blown up the outpost and killed the Blair thing. Neither knows if the other has been assimilated. As the audience, we know that McCready is still human, but we don't know about Childs. Childs acts suspicious when approaching McCready. He also left the main building with an implausible story. This paranoia and uncertainty is exactly the point of the film, so if you don't want that tainted for you, I recommend subscribing and then stopping the video. Still here? Okay, this next part is deduction based on a few very specific shots. Carpenter has never and probably will never admit whether Childs is the thing at the end, but he left us clues. The first clue is the jacket Childs wears. The last time we see him, he is definitely a human. He's wearing this nice blue coat and is guarding the only entrance to the main building. More importantly, look at the coat next to him on the hook. Similar, maybe a bit darker. Later, Carpenter shows us this very specific shot moving through the main building. Childs is gone, the door is open, 
but most importantly, the dark jacket that was next to Child's is gone. The color really doesn't matter that much, except that the coat still on the hook is definitely not the dark jacket. This leads me to believe that Child's was attacked and his jacket destroyed in the process, meaning he had to find a new jacket, so he grabbed that one. You believe any of this voodoo bullshit, Blair? The next piece of evidence for Child's being the thing, Child's claims to have seen Blair outside the camp, but the generator goes off only a few seconds later. The generator was inside the building Child's just left, therefore Blair had to be in that building. He got back inside and blew the generator. The last piece of evidence is McCready's interaction with Child's. McCready is suspicious of everyone at all times, so when he approaches Child's with a cavalier, well, we're both gonna die attitude, it's only to lower his guard. Yeah, we've got any surprises for each other. I don't think we're in much shape to do anything about it. Now, McCready offers whiskey to Childs. If he was human, Childs would definitely not accept the drink because he knows food and drink can be a source of infection. Childs takes a drink with no persuasion necessary. McCready laughs because, well, Childs just failed his test. And that's the end of the movie. So based on the evidence, here's probably what happened off screen. Blair Thing tunneled into the building. Then Blair Thing attacked Childs and ruined his clothing in the process. The Childs Thing changes into a jacket that looks similar to the one he had and heads into the storm to freeze and better its odds of survival. Then the Blair Thing destroys the generator. The whole fight ensues and the camp goes up. Childs Thing sees this and returns. He probably thinks that Blair Thing won and Childs Thing would rather not freeze if he doesn't have to. But we don't see any of that and we don't know for sure that Childs is the Thing. And that's kind of the point. The whole terrifying, morbid, Point. 